frustrating, is that? Yep, frustrating. You know, close. Obviously very close. Um, but I, I think the overriding message is, is, you know, we did enough things wrong in that game, you know, not, not to get the victory. Uh, we, we could have got it. You know, there were a big turning point, obviously, with the intercept try and probably an even bigger turning point when we didn't deal with the kickoff. Uh, but when you're playing with the top teams in the comp, um, and there's what, seven, eight minutes left on the clock, or ten minutes left on the clock, wherever they were, you've got to deal with stuff like that. Considering you, I don't know what the stats were, but you didn't seem to complete much in the first half. Going in with six down, Jack felt too bad about that. Well, which shows a good effort. You know, we, we identified, and, and you know, we know Hull are a strong starting team. You know, stats will tell you in the first 20, you know, they post as many as many points as any other team bar St. Helens. So we know that we're important. Um, yeah, I think we can be really disappointed with what we tossed up in that first 20. You know, I thought our, thought our middles didn't really get a grip of, of anything that were coming through them in the middle and, and compounded with some poor errors. But I did think we found some energy after that when we, when we got a bit of the ball. So to come in six points down, you know, completing around 65%, I think showed a, a pretty determined effort. And then uh, we didn't see much field position in the second half. But I did. But I did think we showed a good energy with the ball. Uh, I thought we caused them some problems, and, and to get in front, you know, scored a couple of a couple of really good tries, and and it were all on. But as I say, I go back. I think, I think, you know, when you look over the course of 80 minutes, we simply did too many things wrong that were in our control uh, that invited them, you know, invited them into some good positions. You know, even even the winning try, you know, the play before we got we got three middles not putting a guy on the deck in his own 10 um, and just that little bit of extra effort and determination to win that collision probably gets gets you a little bit better organized you know for the, for the last play um, so yeah we've got a we've got a disappointed and, and how can I say dejected changing room but still a determined one you know still a very very determined one we know if we can replicate some strong efforts like that you know I thought the effort were much better than, than what we turned out last week um, and brush upon a couple of areas, then you know we'll be fine. It felt like the defensive commitment felt like it was better than last week. Would you agree? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've still not, I, I still don't think it's where it needs to be. As I said, through that middle in the first half, and uh, you know a couple of tries down the edge. I thought we'd come up with a couple of couple of um, poor individual decisions down there. But they ask you plenty of questions too. You know, I think they're. You know they're very well formulated in in how they play. They've got some some big boppers that 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 challenge you, uh, and even on the kick try. You, you know if if you have all down on your ten meter line and, and Snead's got time to kick, he generally puts it in the right place. And and they're a very very difficult place uh, place to deal with. So look, I thought I always thought these were going to be one of our biggest challenges on the running. Um, thought it proved to be. But we weren't too far away. You know so so while his effort were good. Um, we're disappointed we didn't get the two points, um, but we've got to be very, um, not self-critical, but, but very aware of, of the areas that we feel, um, you know, we feel we let ourselves down in a little bit today. What do you say to Nat Peter, who's obviously been out of the team for a while and then makes an error like that? Yeah, we've got to deal with it. Well, I haven't said anything to him yet. I think he's, he'll be acutely aware of um, you know the, the big moments in the game and uh, we'll have a look at him and, and a chat this week he's been out for a while like you say but um, yeah we've got to nail them plain and simply Pete we've got to nail them plays yeah I think I think you know he missed a goal last week and everybody were questioning his, his goal kicking ability uh, but the ones he nailed today were magnificent and we started to see uh, when we got Rob Louis buzzing about on the ball that you know he's a he's a very determined attacking player, and you know made some good good little breaks and half breaks in there. And I've said for a long time, oh, for a while now, I think you'll find that once Reese finds his feet in this team uh, and in this competition as well, you you'll see a very very good player. You know he's a, he's a super kid, and he had a he had a massive contribution for us today. He did. I thought we had some good players. I thought we had some good players, but I also thought uh, we had some players that that were inconsistent within that 80 minutes, which. You know, as I say, when you're playing the better teams, that inconsistency tends to find you a little bit, and it, and it found us at some crucial times today.